Clan to Fresh Johnson here, and this is the Engineer Freestyle Podcast. All right, all right. Today is a crazy day. Crazy, crazy day. I had a whole nother um, episode scheduled for um, Tuesday, but um, I scrapped that. It's Tuesday morning. It's about 2 a.m. And... Um, yeah, I scrapped that episode because I wasn't really feeling that at the moment. As you know, if you listen to this and listen to this for years to come and months to come, Kobe passed in a um, helicopter accident. And him, his daughter, I believe friends of the family, coaches and their kids. And it's crazy, man. So... I wanted to more, today's episode, I wanted to speak more on just greatness and striving for greatness. And I felt like that would be a great topic instead of, um, you know, just making this a super sad one and all that stuff. And I'm kind of tied in with just greatness and living life to the fullest. And um, yeah, man, this is crazy. Just even thinking about Kobe kind of... Um, Hasn't messed me up the last couple of days. When I got the news, I was at the studio, and um, I had to get out. I got out the studio. I was like, not today. Because I knew if I sit in here, you know, I'd probably end up in a dark place and overthink things and kind of, like, be super sad. So I went to go hang out with Gears. So shout out to the homie Gears. And after that, I went to go hang out with the homie GT at the um, Wallace Lane at Quarter Studio. Um, and, yeah, I just shared good words and positive energy and, you know, plans for greatness. And I felt like that's why this episode made a lot more sense because Kobe was a big, big energy, man. He was a super, super big energy. And I think, you know, what we can all learn from him is he strived for greatness, but at the same time, we could tell the guy really loved his family and made sure he can do as much as possible. Like seeing a clip earlier where they explained why he started to even use the helicopter was like, oh, that's that's kind of crazy, you know, because he just wanted to be there for his kids and pick him up from school, take him to school and all that stuff. So it's like, you know, I respect that. That's pretty dope. And as a father myself, you know, I always think about stuff like that and, um, you know, what what more can I do for my daughter and, you know, just always be the next level. Ironically, um, engineering came about because I wanted to be a better father because I felt like I didn't have the means all around to be a good father. So I went to school to learn something that could eventually make me money. And ironically, um, it worked out, thank God, and it's still working out, and I'm super thankful for it. And the crazy part about this whole situation is that I feel like just as humans, just as people, we get so caught up in the negative things. Like um, even the night before, I was kind of like sad that I wasn't doing enough. I feel like I wasn't doing enough. And, you know, seeing what happens the next day was you know, that reminder, like, just like when I lost my father, it was that reminder, like, yo, life is short. You can go at any time, you know. What are you doing with the with the time you have on, on this earth? And I was stupid sad, just like a lot of other people. But at the same time, man, it just, it, it, gave, me a, it gave me that push to be like, you know, no excuses. There's really no excuses to this, like, you know, it's go time. Like you, you, you have to utilize the things you have. Be thankful for what you have. Be thankful for your family. Be thankful for just everything, man. Like me and the homies are talking in, in our little text chat, and you know, it's, it just gives you a, a whole different perspective on things because he is the, to me, he is the pinnacle of greatness. Even though he's an athlete, and I don't really like to watch basketball and all that stuff. I've been watching a little bit recent, more recent because of people like Trey Young and Zion and all that stuff. But um, 
Yeah, man, like if you even think about just greatness in itself, just the word greatness, I feel like there'll be a picture of Kobe in somebody's dictionary. Or well web search to change that. So make a petition for that. But um yeah, I know my brother, my older brother, definitely loved Kobe and that's kinda what brought him into the household and Kobe for me was probably like I not, I didn't grow up with Jordan. I grew up with Kobe, so I saw Kobe at like every level, you know, from the no hair to the Afro to the dunk contest to him, you know, putting out his first Adidas and putting out the spaceship Adidas, you know, number eight, going to number twenty four, going to Nike, you know, having his first daughter, having a second daughter, you know, like all that stuff, scandals, everything, like so. I pretty much saw Kobe from the beginning. Well, uh, I don't know how to say it that way, but, you know, like, I got to see all of Kobe. And then LeBron comes, so, you know, I also got to see LeBron in his entirety until now, to his career. So, but Kobe was, like, the first superstar, like, person, that I can honestly say I saw from the beginning. And he's just always exude greatness. And yeah, man, it was one of those crazy situations where you were fighting not to be sad, but there was no way you couldn't be sad. Like it was all over social media and all that stuff. And um yeah, I just I just sat down and I started working on the website. I started meeting with people. You know, today I was I just locked in and worked on the on work on the mix. And you know, just just being more on point. I feel like lately I've been on this this whole um, you know take my time kick, and just gotta be careful with that. I don't want to you know lose the opportunity I have because it's crazy, man. Like I said, I started I started engineering to be in a sense a better dad to be able to help financially to be able, you know, to just do different things, be able to take her out and, you know, if they need anything, be there, pick her up from school and just different things like that. And um, me going to school, me getting a job and me, you know, just helping out my own mental because at the time I was not doing too well, especially with the drinking and all that stuff. And, um, yeah, man, my my only goal in this is to be the best at what I do. I don't I don't see any other option to this because even everything I do relates to my engineering. It relates to music. Even this podcast, it's called the Engineer Freestyle. Like whatever I choose to talk about on here is straight from my head. Like I don't have no notes. You can look around. There's no notes, and um, yes, yeah, um, this one might. <laughs> seem more like a diary submission, but is 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 definitely it's definitely a crazy world, man. It's there's definitely a lot going on and you, you have to keep it together and you have to keep yourself strong because just like him, there's people that depend on you also. And my daughter depends you know, depends on me. She depends on her mom and we have to remain strong and I tell you man. This shit, this shit was a, it was a tough reminder for a lot of people, man. A tough reminder. Is it? It comes at any moment. You can go at any moment, and it's, it's, it was really a crazy situation. And yeah, man, I just want people to. I don't want people to break down. I want people to remain strong and really just look at what this guy has done, and you know implement that stuff into yourself like all these videos and all that stuff that's going around really implement that stuff into your own life and just go for it man like that's 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 really what that was on my mind all day yesterday like this shit is super possible it's super possible and we gotta go for it you gotta fight for it. you gotta really want it and um you gotta stay strong is just so much going through my head, man. Just, just so much. And 
you know, at the same time, when you're shooting for that that greatness and you're really fighting for it and, you know, that's all you want, make sure your family comes along too, the people you love, the ones you love, make sure they're along for the ride because it would suck for you to get to that point and then you go, you know, soon after that and you didn't spend time with your family and you didn't cherish the time with the people you, you know, you love. And, um, like I said, I don't want to bring nobody down. It's just, um, it's on my head, man. The stuff I couldn't, I couldn't do the whole, you know, pick a topic off of my list and, you know, talk about that. It was, you know, I tried it. I just scrapped it. I was like, nah, I'll do that next week. But I felt like this was just a good way to kind of um, speak on the situation and, you know, relate it to something where people can hear it and be like, okay, I see what you're saying, you know. Yeah, man, it's just a trip, just to seeing it on social media and all that stuff. And so anyway, I just, I just told myself it's time to work. That's all I could tell myself, just to kind of like keep me, keep me together. Like it's time to work, and it might sound crazy, but I wish one day I owned a helicopter. I know most people like, but he died. I'm like, but I was like seeing everybody that dies in the plane. You don't want to drive, drive. You don't want to fly a plane, but um, fly a plane. But um, yeah, man, that dude was that dude was greatness, and you know, I think. I think a lot of people should strive for that. You know? Sorry, man. I'm all off. This this stuff all got me off. You know, I talked about it a little bit, but you know, speaking on it more here. It's wild, man. I'm like even backing away from the microphone. It's just wild, man. It's, uh, I don't even, I don't even, I don't know. Yeah, man. Stay safe. Keep pushing. Don't let nothing stop you. Go hard for yours. It's very possible. The crazy thing is, man, I used to scream this stuff. Not scream, but I used to say this stuff inside of studios at school. I was going to go that whole angle, but I, I totally forgot because I'm just like effed up. But, um,. I used to scream this stuff in school and tell people it's possible. This is very possible. You can be great. You can do this. You can do that. And I think I was talking to somebody about it. I think it was GT. I was talking about it. I think I said that to people so much. I kept repeating that to people so much that it got stuck in my head. And this whole journey since I started school has been me striving to be the best at what I do. And I won't stop. I'm not going to stop. You know, I have my reality check with ego. I thought that, you know, I could just do any type of work and people should be happy because I was X, Y, and Z. And I got a reality check, you know. And Kobe Passing was just another reality check to make me really realize what, you know, what, what comes with it and what comes with that life. And, um, and, you know, it really made me think about legacy and building something for my kids and all that stuff. And it's important, you know, leave, leave us, leave your stamp on, on the world. Like, what is, what is your story going to be? I think about that stuff. That's all I thought about yesterday. What's your story going to be? And then it made me flash back to school when I was just, he up in my big mouth and saying, you know, I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm, I'm on my path. I'm doing what I got to do. But there's moments in life where it really hits you and it, it makes you, it, 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 reminds, it reminds you that, you know, things like this do happen. This is real life. Because sometimes we get, we get caught up in our little, um, our little inception and we think it's only this way, but there's also the reality to it. So, yeah, man, I'm pretty sure whoever listens is going to go, like, <laughs> the hell is he talking about? But, um, yeah, I'm just going to end it right here. 
hopefully next week I have a more uplifting um, vibe and all that stuff. But I'll leave it with a little bit of positivity, man. If you had anything that you wanted to go for, do it now. Don't wait. Because you just never know. Yeah. Thanks for listening.